In this video, I'm going to show you how you can embed live Power BI reports within your PowerPoint presentation slides. We're going to look at different ways that you can do this from embedding full pages to individual pages. We're going to also briefly talk about why it's beneficial to embed live reports instead of static images in the first place. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernand and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel, where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So Power BI is a tool that gives your users the ability to interact with their data by allowing them to slice and dice the data so that they can interrogate it for themselves. In the recent past, I've had clients who used to take screenshots of Power BI reports and then stick these static images into their PowerPoint slides. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. This gives them the ability to add their own narrative into the slides, such as their own commentaries, narratives, or charts from other slides. However, because they had to produce this slide deck every single month using the same slices. It means that for every single month, they need to go back to the report, take a picture of that chart and paste it back into the deck. And this action could be multiplied. And because they had to produce this same exact slide deck every single month with the new updated data, this means that they had to go back every single month to the Power BI reports, take a screenshot of the slices that they've done, paste it into the PowerPoint deck along with their commentary, taking up a lot of time every single month. So the Power BI team has released a couple different ways that you can work with live Power BI reports directly into your PowerPoint slide. Let me show you how you can do this. Here's a report that I built that gives an overview of the employee's population for a fictional company. I'm selling this report as a template from my online shop. If you want to have a look at it, I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. So in this report, there are a couple of different interactive elements that you can play around with, such as changing the period of the KPIs at the top. So being able to see what it is current month or previous month, or being able to change the range, such as changing the, the range from last 12 months to different specific years. Let's say you want to embed a live version of this report into your PowerPoint slides. Now you can do this by clicking share, and then you will see that there's an option for PowerPoint here at the bottom. Now, if you click that, it will generate a link for you. There's also another way that you can do it using export, which does the same thing. What it does is it generates a report page link, which allows you to copy and paste it into an existing PowerPoint slide, or you can create a new PowerPoint slide altogether by clicking open in PowerPoint. So if I click this, you will see that it will start to generate a live version of our Power BI report into our PowerPoint slide. So now you can see that we are in PowerPoint at the moment, but this page retains all the interactive elements that you have in a Power BI report. So you can select and change slicers and periods. You can change the range as you normally would in the Power BI service. I want to show you the other way that you can embed it into your PowerPoint decks though. So let's go back here and let's go to export this time instead of share. So we're going to click PowerPoint and then embed live data. If you click that, it will generate you a link, which if you copy, we're going to go back to our slide deck here and let's create a new slide. And then from here, you'll need to go to insert my add-ins. You will find Microsoft Power BI there. Add and here is where it will ask you for a report page URL. So we'll simply paste the URL that we have copied. If you hit insert there, it will give you the same thing, which is just embedding that live report into your slide deck. One thing to bear in mind when you're using this option to embed Power BI reports into PowerPoint is that your reports will inherit the security permissions that you apply to it in the service. So for example, in this scenario, because I built this Power BI report in my Power BI account within the service. So if I click on the profile here, you can see that it's by Fernand at solutionsabroad.co.uk. That means that I have the ability to access this report because in PowerPoint, I'm also logged in as the same account. If I share this to other people, I need to make sure that they are using their corporate account where I shared that report because otherwise this will not show up to their slides. So this is a good thing because 
even if the PowerPoint slide is shared to someone anonymous, let's say, they won't be able to see the data unless they have access to the report itself. It can be bad, but maybe not bad, but just a tad inconvenient because it's not the usual way of sharing slides. So you, your users won't be able to just simply share a slide deck to someone and they can just open the report. They need to have the permissions to access the report itself. So now that we are here, let's have a look at some of the interactive elements that we can use apart from the slicers within our Power BI report here. So at the bottom here, you can see that we have a pane here, which you can hide or unhide using this button. And then you have two optional buttons here, data options to either refresh the report itself. So this allows you to get the most recent version of your report without leaving PowerPoint. So data Insights is essentially a smart narratives feature that will try to summarize whatever data you have in your visual or in your report. So what it does if you click on it is it will generate a natural language analysis on what the data is being presented. Now this feature is powered by the same smart narrative feature available in Power BI. So if you want to know more about smart narratives and how to use that, I have a video on it that I covered separately. So check that one out if you haven't yet. We have clear data, which basically clears the report item that you have in this add-in so that you can add something else. And then it's not so obvious, but when you select the add in, there is a button on the top right hand corner of the visual, which if you click allows you to select a few options here. But the important one to know is show as saved image, which essentially disables all the interactive elements in your page. So if you don't want your other users to play around with the slicers and you want to just set it to how you've done it, you just click that and they won't be able to select any and it will just be sort of like an image for them. You can just disable that by toggling it back to how it was before. So you will have the interactive version back. Let's, so let's go back to the Power BI service. When you made a selection here in Power BI and when you had to share, you have this option, include my changes. This is a handy feature if you want to default your reports being shown in PowerPoint to something that you want to always show every single month. So for example, maybe you want to look at always just at the current month, or maybe you want to look at your specific business unit. This allows you to generate a link that makes sure that those filters or your changes that you've applied is defaulted when they open PowerPoint. Finally, embedding Power BI reports isn't just for full page reports. You can also embed individual visuals into your PowerPoint slide decks. So you'll find this option on a lot of your visuals that are in a report. So this is another report that I built for analyzing YouTube revenue analytics. So on each of these visuals, as I highlight them, you will see that there is an option at the top right that comes up that allows me to do many different things. But the option that we will choose from here and let's say we want to embed this visual into our PowerPoint deck, we'll simply highlight this visual. So as we selected it, we'll click more options here on the top right, and then we'll select share and then open in PowerPoint. So what it will do is it will generate a URL for us to copy, which we can then use in PowerPoint. So let's copy that link. Let's go back to PowerPoint here. And this is a new one. I'm going to hit insert on my add-ins. Power BI, and then we're going to paste the URL right here. Hit inserts. And there you go. So you can see that we now have just that individual visual as opposed to the full page of the report pretty easily. And that's really it for this video. I hope you're now a little bit more familiar with how you can work with Power BI more efficiently with your PowerPoint slide decks in the future. Thanks for watching as usual. Give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so I have to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you on the next one. Bye-bye.